Hello everyone, it is I, Joey from the Earthland, bringing you another tutorial today on Minimator. But this one's different, because it can also pertain to any other sort of production besides Minimator. But this one's specifically Minecraft related, and the only animation software I use is Minimator, so it's still technically, in my opinion, a Minimator tutorial. So today I'm going to talk about what I do to make audio for my animations. So first of all, I have made, real quickly, I've made a little, just a little preview animation on just what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add sound to this animation, this little basic walking animation that I just made in five minutes. So first thing that I do is I need to get the sounds from Minecraft, the stepping sounds. So I need the grass stepping sounds. So, in order to do that, you can get them on the internet probably, but I find this much easier because it's on my computer, and even if, like, the Wi-Fi goes down or something, I can still get it to work. So I go to, to find your Minecraft files, you go to Run, and you go to App Data, which is one percentage, App Data, percentage, no spaces. And that'll open it up, and conveniently, .minecraft is going to be usually the first one because it starts with a period. So then you're going to go to resources and you're going to go to sounds. Now I think it's sounds three that are the latest ones but I'm not sure. But anyway you go to step and I need grass which is somewhere. Grass. So let's just say I want grass three. So what you need to do is you need to open this with this first time whoops Sorry about that. Not right. So, I haven't done any, since I already had all the sounds from my old computer, I just brought them all over. So, um, but now I need, this is the first time I'm doing it on this computer. So, what I always do is I always open it in Audacity, which is what I use for a lot of my sounds, Audacity, Audacity. So, I open it with Audacity. And... So now, when I play it, I get... But it's in a file format that most video editing softwares, especially ones if you're just starting out like Windows Movie Maker, will not be able to read. So what you gotta do is you gotta go to File, Export Audio. And I'm just gonna export this to the desktop just to make it easier. So, and you need to make it an MP3 file because that's what I always use which um, which things like Windows Movie Maker can easily read. Now, this Audacity doesn't come with default MP3 file conversion due to some sort of copyright thing, but it will prompt you to download something which will allow you to do that. So it's easy, but since I've already done it, I can just easily do that. And so now it's been saved. I don't need to save the changes because I don't want to change it to actually. So here's grass three. So now if we open it, we just get a, we get a, we get a nice ch. So now that I have that, I'm going to, now most, some people have more advanced video editing software things. I don't, uh, but I just use Movie Maker. And so now... What I'm going to do is, that's not right, that's my gameplay video ga videos. I need desktop. I need Steve walking. So now I got Steve walking, and um, it should be ready to play in just a second. So now I have Steve walking. You can see him walking. It's a little shaky, and this was a real problem on my old computer because my old computer was really bad, and these converted movies right out of Minimator was really hard for Minecraft for um, Movie Maker to read and so I end up having to convert those videos constantly to make them smaller and be able to make my computer read them but this one does it with little to no difficulty but anyway so each time usually I'll vary the grass sounds I have all four of the grass sounds in my in my files but this time I'm just gonna use the one grass sound because that's the one I just downloaded. So, in terms of stepping, I always do it. I always go through and figure out when the point, the last point in time, 
right before it hits the ground right there so right there so I go back here and now I add this uh, I go up here find grass now up oh, I do add a current point I thought I did add a current point anyway no big I'll just put it back right here so now when he steps you hear nice you hear it's really soft right now but it will get exported on the video but for purposes I will raise the volume of that to a much higher volume so there we go now I'm gonna speed this up but I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one and put it on all the rest of them all right so now I have all of them there. So now we have Steve going. So yeah, we have that. So that's how I add audio. So you can do that with any sound in the Minecraft files to create any sound you want to do. Like I always use the metal sound for any type of sword clinking. Um, but anyway, that's not the only audio you can add. So usually my voice, my the my animations usually have voice acting in them. Well, not usually, but I'm doing that for my new ones and whatnot. So anyway, so what I usually do is I I again go into Audacity and I open it up and I just record whatever lines I want to do. And whenever like I need someone else's lines, I just um go to their house, bring my microphone bring anything else I need to need and then I uh, get their lines or they come here either way so um, let's just record a line for this one for this animation such as like hey I'm Steve look at me I'm walking or something like that hey I'm Steve look at me I'm walking uh, that's a little loud there uh, I think I just got that in the recording oh well hey I'm Steve look at me I'm walking uh, that's a little uh, yeah I did get it in there but I can just edit that part out so after that, wait, no, cancel. Uh, file, uh, export audio. Um, hey. Okay, and it just gets that out. It's now on the desktop, and now I can get rid of this. I don't need to actually save that. Um, but now I'm going to, at this point in time, at some point in time, I'm just going to put this in here. And now, previous versions of Movie Maker, the one I had on my old computer, I would have to make a whole new part of the video in order to add the audio, but now there's this nice thing called record narration which adds a second which allows you to add one more thing of dialogue which now I can just put this somewhere and now Steve is going like hey I'm Steve look at me I'm walking now yep there I am okay so now let's get this out of here let's get this little part out split oh wrong didn't split didn't mean split that get an end part out and so what you want to do is when you're recording narrations or some sort of voice, you're going to want to get rid of any sort of like clicking because on my old computer especially I would have a ton of clicking which I would have to get rid of. So like or any excess talking. So right here, if you don't need it, you just go to narration, you set endpoint and if like I don't need this beginning part, so I'm just going to set start point and now you have a whole new thing. Hey, I'm Steve. Look at me, I'm walking. So, my microphone's pretty good, but I was screaming into it, which I'm probably screaming into it right now because I have a pretty loud voice. So, I, I, still, I still haven't worked out completely audio, but whenever I'm recording, I can go back and listen to it and make sure I don't talk too soft and don't talk too close to the microphone and all that jazz. So now, we got sound and we have voice. So now, I'm walking along. Hey, I'm Steve. Look at me, I'm walking. And now we have that. So I'm going to go ahead and export that and edit that out of the video. And then there's one more thing that I want to go over with you. All right, so now we have this. We have, hey, I'm Steve. Look at me, I'm walking. All right, so Steve's walking. And Steve probably wouldn't sound like me, just by the vibe I get. So now I put this back into Movie Maker. And now we're going to add music. Now what I usually use is I use... Um, 
I use license free music from um, incomptech.net or com. What one of those? I think it's net. Anyway, by Kevin MacLeod. Leod. I, I, I'm not good with names. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Anyway, I'm going to put his the link to that in the description. But you can find any music that's copyright free as long as you... Not really copyright free. That's not a good way to put it. It's There is a copyright, but it's open. So you can use it as long as you give him credit. So I always will put either it like in the credits or in the description. So, um, yeah, so... What I usually do is I'll just go add music on the second file. Now, whenever I'm creating, like, the Coventures in Earthland, which is a series I've made or am still working on since I only have one episode out, I always put... So I always do all of that, the voicing and whatever, the voice and sound in one file, and then all together in another file, and that's when I add the music. So I'm going to go to where I keep all the music, which is my Coventure files, and Coventure music, which... I can do, let's see, what music should I use for this? How about Comfortable Mystery? That sounds nice. It's not even, there's no sound. Great. So, uh, let's not use that one. Because there's barely any sound. Uh, Call to Adventure. There we go. Hey, I'm Steve. Look at me, I'm walking. Now, you probably have heard that one before. Because a lot of people use this guy's music, and that's a very common one. But after that, that's basically it. You can use any type of music you want. I don't care. This is this is just a basic video on editing audio, and that's all I really have for you guys. I hopefully have. How I hope you've gotten something out of this. I don't know. At least knowing how to convert Minecraft sounds to a sound that this can read. So anyway, I'm going to export this and put this at the end of the video. But thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like. And tell me any type of tutorials you'd like me to make. Because, and there's my dogs again. Uh, and any type of tutorial you would need. Anything you would like to ask. Anything. I would be happy to make it if I know how to do it. And hopefully I know how to do it. So, there are my dogs. I'm sorry. They bark sometimes. Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every like, every view, every subscription, and just thank you. Have a great day, guys. Hey, I'm Steve. Look at me, I'm walking.